question that I, I asked for us today is, what is your motivation to find Jesus? Because we saw here two men, right? The wise man and what's the other one with the crown? King Herod. And they both want to find Jesus. And what we can see on the story right here is both of them was looking for the same Jesus. He came. Thank you so much. Look at this. <laughs> Talking about kingdom. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> even that the wise men, they wasn't Jew, but they received this revelation of the new king that came to, to tr transform the world. And God's mercy was, you know, his plan of salvation was there and he revealed it to the, the humans since the birth of Jesus. Since the beginning, right? As John said, he was with God. But when they arrived in Jerusalem, they saw the star and they, they came to Jerusalem. But when they arrived in Jerusalem, eager to meet the king of kings, they asked if anyone knows where is Jesus. And nobody knew. But someone was interested in finding Jesus. Who is it? Here. He was... Let, let's read the verse three and three to six. Matthew two verse three to six is going to show up right here. It says like this: King Herod was deeply disturbed when he heard this, as as was everyone in Jerusalem. He called a meeting with the leading priest and the teachers of religious law and asked. Where is the Messiah supposed to be born? In Bethlehem, Judea, they said. For this is what the prophet wrote. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not least among the ruler cities of Judah. For a ruler will come from you, who will be the shepherd for my people Israel. So Harold, he was curious to know where Jesus was, but he was possessive enough to be furious to see someone that come to take the government, come to take the lead. And but but he told the wise man that he wanted to worship Jesus, right? So the question that we want to ask today is, what is our motivation to find Jesus? Because on one side, we see here the wise men, they came and they, they, they wanted to worship Jesus. But on the other hand, we see King Herod, another motivation. And we can see on the verse 3, on the, on the first part, he was troubled when he heard about Jesus. How come now he wants to worship Jesus. So because he saw that was a threat for his government, he was curious to find him. And we need to check if this is not the reason that we're afraid to receive Jesus in our lives today. Because when he comes, something needs to change. Amen. Something needs to change and it's uncomfortable sometimes. And knowing with the arrival uh, of Jesus, Herod was troubled because he knew his time was coming. So let me just close this thing. It's bugging me. Sorry. It's set to play, and it's playing right here in my... All right. So, to say that I want to find Jesus, but I don't, I don't want to be governed by him, it's a mistake. So, to find Jesus is knowing that something needs to change in our lives. And like it or not, Jesus reigned and he wanted to reign in our lives. 
He does. This is what he wants. So I need to answer that question. What is my motivation to find Jesus? Verse 7 and 8 says, Then Herod called a private meeting with the wise men. And he learned from them the time when the star appeared. Then he told them, Go to Bethlehem and search carefully for the child. And when you find him, Come back and tell me so I can go and worship him too. Mm-hmm. I see. So he wants to worship Jesus, right? But it's not what we saw on the verse 3 because he was troubled. So let me just give you some wisdom advice. Can I? Yeah. All right. Thank you, Samantha. <laughs> Not everyone that agrees with you is being truthful, is being hot. It's not because they agree with you. They are being hot with you. Because Harold, he said uh, that he wants to worship Jesus, but that was not true. Amen. One more. Many seek the same Jesus as you, but they don't have the same intentions you have. Amen. So someone wants to worship him, and others have some different interest. Because some people, they just going to use you until they get what they want, and then they're going to say, bye. And this was the motivation that Harold had. Hey, wise man, oh, it was nice to see you. Can you let me know where it is, the service, so I can be there? I want to worship him. But what should I do, Pastor? Thank you for us. <laughs> two words, two words. If you want to write this down, it's going to change the way you see people, change the way your relationships, two words, put it down, be spiritual, be spiritual, because if you're spiritual, people will not put you down, they, they, they're not going to like say something to you, and you're going to think it's right, and they're going to think that they <laughs> They got you. Because when you're spiritual, you hear from God, right? And this should be our prayer. Be spiritual. Verse 12, because this, this is what's in my mind. It was on the text. Verse 12. When it was time to leave, they returned to their own country by another route. This is the wise man came back, coming back. They found Jesus, and they was coming back. But look at this. God have, had warned them in a dream to not return to Herod. So every time people say, this is not going to work. You shouldn't go there. You shouldn't stay in this church. Is God really alive? Is he really exist? Try to be spiritual and listen to God because he's going to guide you and he's going to take you home safely. This is what the wise man did. That's, that's why they call wise. <laughs> wise man, because they, they were, if, if you want to be wise, listen to God. Right? Oh, I need to do my degree and I, I need to, you know, go to school and yeah, do that, please. But to be wise, you need to listen to that voice that it's never wrong. Amen. That voice is never wrong. Amen. So how should I listen to that voice, Daphne? Read the word. Yes. Read the Bible. This was in the Bible. 
So when I have the right motivation to find Jesus, God guide me to the truth. And I could just finish right here, but I know today's Friday, and he wants to know what happened to Jesus. So can you ask your neighbor now, what is your motivation to find Jesus? And look at them like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so when, it's, when the time came, uh, Jesus, to, to Jesus gave himself as a sacrifice for my sin and for your sin, Harold came back to the story. He needs to make a decision. But then we see Pilate sending Jesus to Herod to make that decision. So when Jesus was born, he was there trying to find Jesus. But then Jesus said, now it's time for you to meet me. Oh, right? Because right? it's, it's not when you want it. It's when God wanted. it. Yeah. So Jesus now came to Herod, and he had a, a decision to make. What is your motivation? Verse 6 and 8 to, uh, from Luke 23 says like this. Pilate said, oh, he's Galilean. When they say that he was, Pilate sent him to Herod because Galilee was under Herod's jurisdiction. 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 And Herod happened to be in Jerusalem at the time. And Herod was what? Delight. Delight. At the opportunity to see Jesus. Finally, I'm going to meet this guy. Because he had, he heard about him and he had been hoping for a long time to see him perform a miracle. So he missed it. He missed the opportunity to recognize Jesus as a king. It was in his hand. Like, you, you can make the decision, recognize Jesus as your Savior, or try him to do a miracle for you. Because sometimes this is all we need. Ah, I just need a miracle. And then God gave you a miracle, and then you whoosh. Because that wasn't the right motivation. So he asked, you, hey, can you do a miracle? He was silent. Because he came to be recognized as a king. And if me and you is searching for a miracle and not for a king, we're, missed, we're missing a point. He's the king. And we need to recognize him as a king. If you need a miracle, a natural miracle, go to the hospital. If you need a spiritual miracle, recognize Jesus as a king. And he will do everything. So today we have this opportunity to recognize Jesus as a king. Today we, we're not sad because of the death of Jesus because we know the story. Yes. We know it's Friday and Friday at the day, it's your night when he said, into your hand I give my spirit. But then on Sunday, it's your morning to celebrate. Yeah. It's your morning to dance. <laughs> He's the only one who can. Yeah. And I just want to finish with this verse. But I want you to take this name out of the Bible and put your name on it. Yeah. On. John 11, 25 and 26. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me will live even if dying. Everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe in this? Put your name on it. That's right. Do you believe in this, Davison? Yes, I do. Do you believe in this, Mike? Yes, I do. He is the resurrection, and he has the power in his hand. So today we have the opportunity to see, seek in our hearts and see what is our motivation to find Jesus. Because maybe you came here tonight just because it's Friday, and it's 
you got used to come to the church on Easter. But search right now. What is my motivation to find Jesus? Am I coming to the church just to hear the songs? Am I coming to the church just to eat those, you know, delicious food at the end? Am I coming to the church because I'm single and I need someone? Not here, just online. <laughs> but what is our motivation to find Jesus? May our motivation to seek Jesus is to recognize him as a king of kings and have eternal life. Amen? Amen. 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 God bless you. God bless you. Yeah, so there we're going to come with the second part. But I just want to share this introduction with you. Amen. 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 Can you close your eyes? Hallelujah. Just need to pray with you. Jesus, thank you for this day. Thank you, Lord, for the opportunity that, that we have today to recognize you as our king. We don't want to leave here with the wrong motivation to say that, oh, I love Jesus. No, but we love the king. We recognize you as a king. And what you did on the cross, it was once forever. And whoever believes in you have eternal life. So right now, I bless everyone that is hearing this message. And may our hearts be in the right place. And may we seek Jesus to give everything we have, to give our gifts. And really worship him with all we have. This is our prayer that we pray in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen.